Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I have already went this morning and looked at a property. Um, I just had to look, do the evaluation. They said there were some foundation issues. Um, there are. Uh, it's nothing that I haven't done. So I'm, we're going to lock this property up. I saw the property yesterday as well. Uh, I'm going to be sending out contracts for that as well. So we're going to lock up two. I'm having some text exchange right now. Hopefully we can lock this third one up. And there's another uh, four that I put an offer out on. And then there's another uh, eight that I'm waiting for the price points to come in from the agent. So I can then uh, see what they're asking and then put in a... Uh, Um, offer. But let's go ahead and get started. want to see the square footage that's what I'm trying to look at
it lowered at nine hundred dollars. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Hi, this is Tina Swainquist from Realty. I am currently not available. I will return all phone calls with... I'm Hi. Yeah. Message bells. Doesn't seem to be active. Uh. Search by the agent. Okay. So this one doesn't seem like it's Moving pretty fast today. You listen. Just get through them. That's it. That's the name of the game. Just get through it and get it done. And okay. So that's pending.
needs to be updated, that's for sure. Looks like a condo. And condominium. Wow. So monthly HOA is a thousand dollars? Pool, yeah, swimming room. Okay, there's some information I I can't show it to the public. Hey Tina, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, I appreciate you giving me a ring back. Of course. Um, let me just. I'm on my computer, so I'm gonna pull this up so I, we're talking on the same page. So. That was uh, crazy because I was just on the phone with the owner of those properties. So, um, we are going to get new pictures and and do another price um, CMA on them. Um, but the two six. Or 716 is fully renovated. So they have like a lifetime cert of um, uh, lead based paint now. So you okay. wouldn't have to get that done. And it's rented out for 2500 for to three adults. Oh, it's already rented out. Okay. So three adults, 2500 Um, So yeah. these pictures that are on the MLS, they're not the actual they picture? Are, they, they were kind of when they were still doing construction. Okay. Um, Okay, so 517 East Vine Street is um, 
Is that a three bedroom, two bedroom? Help, help me understand what that one is. I'll, I'll, I'll look all these up too. Is that also in Millville? Or is that Vine? Yeah. Okay. They're all in Millville. Okay, all of them are in Millville. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking. They're all like within a minute away from each other, actually, because he just goes around and collects the checks. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Easy enough, I guess. It's a three three yeah. bedrooms, one full bath. Okay. Um, now, is he essentially looking to sell to like, uh, well, just the 716, obviously not because it's rented, but more like... Obviously, he's aware that investors are likely going to buy this these properties, or is he yeah, looking? He would, he would do a package deal. Um, the thing is, is these are two brothers, so five seventeen mm-hmm. is owned by a separate brother. Okay. Um, all the rest of them, seven fifteen, seven eighteen, and two West Green, are owned by the same guy. So he would consider um, a bundle deal. If that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's not his. It's the brothers. Yeah. But um, but they they are they work together. So, um, but their money isn't together. So okay. Um. All right. Uh. So the other. So I'm looking at seven one six. You have it listed at two thirty seven. Do you do do you expect when you reassess? and conduct the CMA that you're going to price it higher, lower? Like I'm seeing, I'm so If you ask me, I think it would be a little bit lower because our, when we did our original comp, I was using last year's numbers. Um, but I haven't done it yet. I just had a baby. So. I'm oh, congratulations. Calling on all my listings to try to reevaluate some of the ones that haven't moved. The reason his hasn't moved is because he was renovating it. Um, to be completely honest, we weren't even, like, I would love to show it, but it was, he stripped it all down to mm. the wall, does because he wanted to get that lead base paint out, lifetime cert or something like that. Right. Okay. Um, right. well, I why you would do that. Yeah, I don't know what the big deal is. You just sign the lead disclosure and <laughs> keep it moving. Yeah, he, um, he's very, uh, he does construction, so he's very anal, so he wants everything done right. That's okay. Um, that's, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, so he's a little extra, but um, but now it's done. So he's like, all right, I'm ready to move, either move the properties or take them off because he just re them for more money. Okay. Um, so seven one six. I mean, so essentially now the lease that he has in place there. Do you know how lo- how much lo- more time is left? Just started. Okay. That one literally just started because he just got it reassessed and put them in there, and he didn't like. Not that I should disclose that, but it's only three adults in there. So got it. So. For that one, the way I would present an offer is I would just work backwards from what the current rent that they're collecting is. Um, you know, just being transparent with you, I I, I am non-negotiable on at least making three hundred dollars profit on the door, right? Like that, I'm not. If anything less than that, it's not worth the headache for me. So what I'll do for seven one six is I'll just from there back uh calculate what my lender's gonna what my lender's cost is gonna be on the principal and interest taxes uh principal and interest taxes and insurance and uh, whatever that number comes out to be minus uh from the 2500 minus my 300 you know that'll let me know what offer i can make if you're okay with me doing that and presenting an offer because i don't know what that number will come down to like uh, I don't think it's going to be at what the listed price is, uh, but I can certainly do it and then send it over and then kind of go from there. Yeah, I'm willing to present anything, so bring it over. And then um, the other one, it would for the rent to go up after you purchase it, um, you would have to get it reassessed by the, the town because it, it, he, gets them re, he gets them assessed through Section 8. So it's I don't know if that those people are Section 8. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's how I get them assessed to know how much he can get through the state if he does. Um, but the other one has to get reassessed still. We just haven't done that one yet. He was focused on 716. So that one would probably be the same amount of um, rent once mm-hmm. we get reassessed. 
Yeah, because they're next door to each other, 716 and 718. Yeah. Both each room, in each house. So it could technically be six bedrooms if you just add a closet. Right. But right now, one, he made a sitting room, and the other one is like the attic space almost. Okay. Um, so he, he basically only wanted to promote them as five bedrooms. but. Okay. Then then this uh, Two Green Street uh, in Millville, I know you said that's not listed. Do you have a potential... Uh, no Two. Uh, okay. Is it like a white house that has a side, like a, a side by side? Like there's another building to, or another house to the next to it, like duplex or row yeah. home, I guess. Okay. You know, on the MLS, they have it as Two Green Street West, comma Millville. No, that's, it, that's it. Okay. Do you have a purchase price for that? I know you say that's not on the market yet. So. No, I like literally. You texted me as soon as I got off the phone with him. Because he had me take that off the market because he's been going back and forth about if he wants to sell them or not because they bring in good money, like it's mm-hmm. guaranteed money. Okay. Um, but he literally just called me and was like, look, I'm like, let's just try it. We'll put it up. And if it doesn't work out, I'll take them down. Like kind of thing. Because it's the summer, so he knows they'll move faster right now. Okay. All right. So I will work on 716. 718 is clear. There's nothing going on there. So, I mean, look, I guess whatever. I'm assuming he renovated both of those, 716 and 718? Um, 716 just got renovated. So his tenant got out and he stripped it. And then he put the new tenants in there. Okay. 718 has a current renter in there. Okay. I know it's all up to date, but it's not like fully renovated. Like it's not brand new floors and Mm. walls like the other one. What's the rent that he's collecting there? No worries. I mean, if I can send you an email too, if it makes life easier, yeah, maybe. Because I get all the questions um, for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, no problem. I'll, I'll make a note here to send you an email for rent rolls. Okay. Um, no problem. And I will. Okay. Now, do you have other investment type property? So, oh, I, if I didn't say this, I do apologize. I would be the buyer. Like I am licensed, yes, but I don't really do that side of the business. I do the investment side, so I would be the one who would be acquiring the properties. Okay. And I and I'm you know I'm qualified. My lender, I have my my you know my line of credit and all that stuff, so I can certainly share that. Um, should we be able to work together? Um, but if you have other properties, like off-market type properties or investment type properties, I'll be more than happy to take a look at them and work with you. Okay, that sounds good. I'll send you. I mean, I'm sure I do. I just, um, I just literally have to be. So I'm not in the office. But no worries, no life. worries. What'd you, what'd you have? What'd you end up having? A boy. No, is your first or? No. Okay, all right. Mine's the opposite. I had my first is uh, my son, and then I had two girls afterwards. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we wanted a boy every time, so. Nah, I hear you. We 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 wanted our middle, uh, our middle our middle daughter to be the only daughter, but uh, we were hoping the last one would have been a boy. But it's okay. Uh, I'm 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 glad I have I'm glad I have two girls. Uh, Especially the last one because she's a she's a, she's a really a daddy's girl. Oh yeah, you leave me born. <laughs> so, but uh, the time goes fast. Uh, how, how old are yours? Uh, my oldest is ten. She just turned ten on the same day my son was born. Oh wow, that's that's crazy. So my old my oldest is fourteen. Um, and then my daughter is eleven, the middle one. But their birthdays are only twelve days apart in November. Yeah. My daughter was so upset. She we scheduled a C section for the twenty first. And then um we tried to go on Saturday because I could feel like it was coming. Mm-hmm. And uh, then they made me go when my water broke on the on her birthday. She was like, Seriously, he's gonna pester me for my whole life. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, he's he she's, she's stuck now. You gotta celebrate the I same know, birthday. Nah. Not, 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 not
Yeah. Well, I'll, again, congratulations, Tina. And um, I'll send you an email. Obviously, you got your hands full, so no rush. Yeah, I'll get all your questions answered. And then if you want to present any offer, I will gladly present it and see what we can work out. Um, and as soon as I actually, I told them I'll have the fight tomorrow. Um, but as soon as I do the redo numbers, I'll let you know exactly what they are. Okay. On the two green street as well, because that's not going to be on the market until probably, I would say, the weekend maybe, because I got to get new pictures on that yeah. one. Yeah. And I don't want to relist the entire picture, so you're the only one that's going to know about that right that's now. That's fine. What, I mean, given that they're cash flowing pretty well, what's making him consider selling these? Um, so he has another business opportunity. When we first took this, mm. um, he wanted to sell them so that he could buy the other business opportunity outright because he has multiple properties. Gotcha. Um, but he's trying to sell some to be able to do that. And his brother was going in half with him. I mean, so I sold his brother one property. The 517 mine is the other property I have to sell of his. And then I need to sell these ones. These yeah. ones were harder because the one tenant that we actually picked out mm -hmm. couldn't get in it. Um, mm. So it never even was able to be shown. That's kind of gotcha. how that happened. Uh, but now that she's out and we have cooperative people, we should be fine. And that's kind of why he called me and was like, look, like, like if I reevaluate everything so that we can get these either moved or, you know, just kind of settle with what yeah. Okay, no problem. Well, I'll send you an email and then um, we'll take it from there. So, uh, you know, I'll wait for your response. And uh, once I have all the information, then I'll work on getting, uh, calculating out offers and then send them, sending them over to you. Okay, that sounds right. great. Thank Thanks, you Tina. So much. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, you too. Bye bye. Bye Hello. Hi, hi, good morning, Lois. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, um, this is Amit Darji calling with from Society Brokerage. I'm touching base with you um, regarding your listing at 52 Centura in Cherry Hill. Right. I guess, oh, so just FYI, I would likely be the buyer for this um, listing of yours. Yes, mm -hmm. I do have my license, but I focus more on the investment side of things. Does yeah. this condominium allow for renters? Yes. They do. Okay. Um, and I see that he's going to, there's an uh, assessment for the roof that, that he'll be taking care of. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, where I'm struggling is uh, being able to find, find a, some comps that would potentially work. Do you by any chance have anything that you could share? that could help me out here because 
All I'm finding is um, like residential properties. And I don't know if anything in that area has sold. Go well, to my, did you look go right in Centura? Uh, Bambi. Um, let, me, let me pull Centura this up. Centura is the name of the development. And um, okay, well, there are properties currently listed in there. And there are properties that have sold in there. And it's, <clears throat> it's underpriced. And okay. Not only that, but he is since he's paying off a forty-two thousand dollar assessment, um, you know that that means that he's really selling the house for two hundred thousand. Hmm. Um. Which is low. It, it's three bedrooms. It's it's got a lot of space. It has three full baths. Um. But the association fee is ten seventy five a month, and that includes heat and it includes water. Got it. So, so the homeowner would have to pay the um, electric and the um, sewer. Okay. Um, and. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. No FHA buyers has to be cash or conventional. Okay. And, uh, it's vacant. It's an estate. So um, the the parents have passed on, and the, the oh, I'm trust, sorry to hear. Yeah, the trust is taking care of the sale, and um, one of the reasons it's been on the market as long as it has been is because of the uh, the HOA fee. Hmm. Yeah, I looked at it. I said, "Man, thousand bucks for HOA fee." <laughs> they yeah. might. What are they doing? Song and dance before you exactly. before you it's buy that. But it does include, you know, the heat and the whatever that could be. I'm sure five thousand dollars a month. But um, yeah. So that's that's the deal. So that's I, what's going on with that? And. So, uh, so would there be yeah. any potential, like I see that the assessment and all that, it's, mm -hmm. it seems like the owners aren't all that negotiable in the price point. Uh, I'm going to look up some leases, like what's been rented in the area, maybe to get a little bit of an idea, because that's more or less uh, what I would probably use the, the prop, you know, the home for. Like I might, yeah, like nothing's even in Centura neighborhood. There's not even a lease that's been done. In the last six well, months, I mean the um, the rental for a three bedroom, three bath with a Cherry Hill school district, you know, would probably be at least twenty five hundred to three thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, a month. Okay. You know, probably I would say closer to three thousand. Got it. Okay, so. I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take that value. I'm going to take 2500 and I'll take 3000 And then I'm just going to do some back calculations to see what I would potentially arrive at in terms of being able to offer, make an offer on the, on your listing. Um, I, I want, sometimes when I've done that, um, Agents have been, I guess, offended. And my intention is not to offend anybody with an offer. I'm just literally using numbers to come up and derive at a offer point. Is yeah. there, is there, if if you think we're going to experience that, then I I want I don't want to um, put you in a situation where you would look unprofessional with your clients. Like that's not my intention at all. Yeah. No. 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 It's fine. I mean, I will present whatever your offer would be mm -hmm. with a conversation. Okay. Um, and, um, and I would justify, like when I present the offer, it won't just be a number. It mm -hmm. will be like, okay, this is, this is how I arrived at this number based off my lender, right. what they're going to give me as a loan, what I'm bringing mm -hmm. to the table, my interest rate based off of that. This is why I've come to this number. Right. So, yeah, I got it. Okay. So, so work it out. Yeah. Perfect. Love, love, yeah, love to put it together for you. Okay, awesome. I will get that over to you um, today. It'll be in your inbox. Uh, now, when I send you this, is it okay for just to have a conversation point where I send you the offer? 
Um, or do you want me to send it with like a full blown contract and everything no, else? No, okay, no perfect. Contract. Okay, no, good. Purchase with a proof of funds and a note or email letter, whatever. Okay. And um, where are you sending it? Which email address do you have for me? Because I have two. I have um, L Capri Sells Homes at AOL dot com. Yes, that's good. Okay, perfect. I will send that over to you today. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. Okay. So uh, gotta make that offer. Says so long. Uh, as long as you like explain how you're arriving at your offer, like sometimes people feel offended or they feel like it's too low of an offer. It's just data. You just got to understand your data and, I, and I'm going to uh, run through it on the whiteboard and show you how I'm coming up and deriving at this number. Now it may vary for me to you because of what your capability is with your lender to acquire the property. Uh, Um, I'm trying to think my notes. The HOA is so expensive. It's crazy. Okay, so overview. Follow up today. Just keep working.
vision's similar. I'm not sure why. 40 days or so. Not too long ago. Okay, so what's the situation here? I'm not going to show uh, there's some personal stuff on these so I'm gonna keep you guys on this screen I Scott speaking. Hi Scott, good morning. Um, this is Amit morning. with, uh, thank you. Um, this is Amit with uh, Society. I'm touching base with you regarding your listing at um, 2309 Lakeshore Drive. Okay. Um, I, I was just wanted to touch base and uh, ask, is there any information or documents regarding the well and the septic, like the age or any um, assessment like in terms of what the longevity of it is anything done to it like certification we don't have any certifications on it um but we do have a disclosure which would reveal you know the age of it i, I don't remember off the top of my head but i could we could get that to you okay yeah so also scott um if we were able to have an opportunity to work together i would be the one that would uh, be looking to acquire the home um Myself, I, I'm. Yourself, okay. I, yes, I work more. I work in the like. I'm more in the investment side of the real estate things. Um, so I'd be looking to acquire it as a, maybe as a potential rental property. Um, not sure if there would be any issue if I were to acquire it in such a manner. No, I mean not at all. I mean, but you know, typically that means you you know price. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know, and it's not a. It's definitely not that type of situation. Understand. So it seems like there's not really any flexibility in the price point. Right. I mean, we'll do what we got to do to sell it, but we're, they're not going to give it away. That's for sure. No, no. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm not asking uh, to have it given away. But for me, it's just a matter of like, okay, at what point would it make sense financially to buy it so I can, you know, make, get cash flow from it overall. Right. Um, Okay. Um, okay. I mean, I will certainly do some more homework on it, um, and then uh, I'll. But what I will do because I cert, what I value more is integrity and transparency. So I'm gonna do my analysis, but before I submit an offer, if it's okay with you, Scott, I'll give you a call, so that because I know you have to present an offer, and I don't want to compromise your professionalness with your client so i'll call you and say hey this is what i'm looking to present so before i even submit you can just say hey this isn't probably going to work right is, is that, would enough. that be okay fair enough okay perfect uh, well so i'll certainly do that i'll work on that either by this evening or um, by tomorrow afternoon you'll have that email from me okay very good thank you scott you have a wonderful day you do the same take care bye, -bye.
Hmm. This one, I gotta. Well, I already already spoken to the agent on this one property, so I'm gonna have to just reach out. Uh, Three more to go. Paid. I like the term there, six point six. Hello. Hi, Rain. Good morning. Uh, this is Amit with Society. How are you? I'm, I'm well, and I'm sorry. Who is this? My, my name is Amit. And you're from where? A society brokerage. Okay. Uh, I was touching base with you regarding your um, listing at 127 North Texas Ave in Atlantic City. Yep. Um, just want to touch base. Would the, 
Now, just as transparency, you know, if we were able to have an opportunity to work together, I would be the buyer. Um, okay. So it, would there be any issue if I were to acquire this property as a rental? Like there's no restrictions not, in, in the area? Not at all. Nope, not at all. It's a great rental property. Okay, fantastic. The other thing now that I'm having a hard time uh, properly finding is comparables to the price point that, that it's listed at. The highest one I'm seeing is 124 North Georgia Ave that sold for 180 Yeah, this house was already appraised, and it appraised very close to asking. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um, so what I'll do um, is I'll essentially, I'm just going to uh, look at the rental air income in that area and then just pretty much back calc reverse engineer the number based off my lender and see what offer price i can uh, submit to you now are you looking to airbnb it or are you looking to rent it yearly um i didn't know if the area allowed for airbnb i know some oh, yeah okay yeah it's a private property so you can airbnb it you can rent it um you could uh do I have to get special registration from Atlantic City to do Airbnb? No, no, you really don't. Um, you might have to register it as a short-term rental property, but I'm not really sure. I know we have to do that if, if uh, a realtor represents the property, but I don't know what you have to do. You'd have to see what the, um, the rules are for short-term rentals for mm -hmm. an Airbnb. I, I can tell you that there is a app. Well, not an app. Well, it is yeah. an app. Air, AirDNA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so that will definitely give you a good idea of what you can um, what you can rent that property for. Um, rents right now for yearly properties are a hot market because there aren't many of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just just think, given the area, you have to be a little bit. Uh, less aggressive okay uh, but i feel if you're doing a uh what's that called like a air d uh airbnb or vrbo or something yeah. like that it's in a yep. great location for that okay all right so i'll take a look at it from both perspectives from a okay. rental and a short-term rental and then um i'll get back to you probably in a day or so um, I'll, I'll call you before I submit an offer, um, just so I can okay. run it by you and make sure, Hey, if it's okay, um, you know, yeah, instead of writing the whole thing up, I exactly. certainly entertain that, um, verbally and then present it to the seller. Um, have you seen the property? Um, I haven't seen it. Um, obviously it's a, it's a fully renovated property. So I'm looking at the pictures, um, it, uh, unless, it is. right. So I, I can tell you Okay. Um, and the seller is in the process of getting an estimate. She may have it already. Okay. Unfortunately, her mom passed away, so. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, she's. It's just been a. It's been a rough week for her, but she. Um, she with a full price offer, she's willing to. Uh, she's willing to. Uh, give the buyer credit. For the roof. Season. For the roof. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I will do my homework and the research on okay. it, and then I'll come back to you within the day or so. Sounds like a plan. Thank do you, you Rain. Um, I well, I have it off the MLS. Um, I have okay. it. Yep. Is that the right one to use? The one off the MLS? Yep, that's the one. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, Rain. I really appreciate it. Also, Rain, do you have other properties that may fit into like the investment kind of bucket that's more or less where i operate in um so if you have things off market or more investor style uh genre you know i'd be more than happy to take a look at it right in atlantic city uh it doesn't matter so i do everything from trenton all the way down okay i'll keep that in mind okay fantastic and i if it's all right with you rain i'd like to save your contact and then just touch base with you on a week to week just to see maybe if you may have something. Uh, I'll tell you what, when I have something, I'll keep in touch with you because um, my my um, 
renovated properties are few and far between because the person that I am working with currently on 127 uh, North Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what she does. So Got it. Okay. She buys and renovates properties. Gotcha. Okay, fantastic. We'll certainly appreciate your time, Rain. You have a wonderful day. Yeah. My pleasure. You have a good day as well. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. So I mark them negotiation, so now I know that I need to go back in and submit, do an offer proposal. Okay, we got two more, so let's get those done. I'm going to lie, I'm feeling a little beat up today. Not sure why, but these 10 today feel like I'm like dragging through it. But sometimes you have those kinds of days. <laughs> The important thing is to just to get it done. Just keep pushing, finish it, and and knock it out. So Excuse me, like exit real key. Sending a text.
this out. After this, I'll knock out the uh, the cash buyers process that we need to do. Fully done. Sold for 264. This is the highest comp, right? Theirs doesn't look like this. Not at all. There's more. Let's see some of these lower end. Let's see what this looks like. So that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. This is why I can't see it because the MLS is different than what I'm using. I'll see if it pop. Nope, it won't populate out. This is in a different area than my MLS covers. This is the one thing I don't like. Well, sold for one twenty-five. I wish I could see the interior a little bit more, but okay. Let's just let's pluck another one. Okay, not as outdated as this one. Okay, so that was 185. Definitely not 264. Let's try this one. Okay, yeah, so somewhere in between 185 and 225. They have it for 249. Okay. Oh, this is 55 and older. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, what is this? Oh, no. Now they don't get me wrong. They I mean they can be deals, but then I I don't want to go through the process of having to buy it and then like all this extraness. So I'm just gonna say dead prospect done. So I know not to worry about it. Okay, that is ten for today. Ten for today. Okay, so properties we hit up already. That's done. Now time for. Or 10 reach out, so let's knock that out.
now I gotta get uh, a contract done uh, for one of the deals we're locking up. So I'll work on that. One of the things that I like to do is uh, when I do the contract, I like to go over it with the with the seller. I go section by section and go over the contract, explain to them what that section means, and then um, essentially give them an opportunity to ask questions if there's something that doesn't fit their uh, criteria then I can take the notes take it to the take it to the attorney if it needs to be updated then we can certainly do that but I, I like to do it that way so that we're all on the same page that's just me everybody does it differently I'm not here to question how someone's doing something so I just I just know that I have my way, and I like my way that I do it. Okay, so I'll prep the contract tomorrow because we're having the call tomorrow and it's not a lengthy process to prep it, but I'm going to make the notation in my uh, monday.com so I know as a reminder, right? So, done okay let's keep plugging along now we had some 
underwriting that we had to do. Okay, so I got his email, so let me update the email. See, now once I have where we're at a place where we're at contract, I'll start updating the information and adding it in so that uh, the team can start uh, addressing this. But obviously, I'm going to be doing this on my own because I want to show you the entire process. Let me make sure of one thing. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's start uh, underwriting some of these. Man, I am struggling. It's a struggle bus right now. Shoosh. Struggle bus. Struggle bus. 
First one, first property is uh, what do we got? This one's in the offer. Okay, yeah, this is uh, the hell did I just write? Okay, so this is what I am gonna do. So first, uh, let me. Let me uh, make my image smaller. There. Okay. We got 52 Centura. Okay. Now, the agent told us that the rent could potentially be between 2500 to 3000 a month. Okay. Rent. Rent per per month. Uh, I'm going to do the underwriting for both the 2500 and the 3000. Okay. I need to pull up a uh, fair. So where I like to start is the fair uh, market rents. That's essentially like your section eight rent, right? I want to know what, if I put this on section eight, what am I going to get? I want to know that. So that's that. Now I need to pull up the property. So go back into my MLS. So I have the data. We also, we, let's now, let's write down known facts. Okay. So, one, uh, HOA is per month. Um, two, I gotta move this mic a little bit. Property tax so is six thousand four four nine per year, but I like to break it down per month. So six four four nine divided by twelve, so it's five three seven forty two cents per month. Okay, uh, three rate now this is my rate um, hey you might get a better rate I don't know I know what my lender is giving me so I'm just going by what I have okay term 360 months so 30 years this is mortgage terms okay uh, currently the purchase price is uh, two hundred forty-two thousand dollars. Okay, and the six pieces. Cash flow. Minimum is three hundred dollars per month. That this is what I know already. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take out the known facts and add them up. Okay, so we know HOA fee. We're not going to be able to change, right? So that that's going to remain. So that's going to remain this is going to remain i'm non-negotiable on what i want to make right like minimum that's my my preference you can have something different that's your choice you can be you might be okay with making one dollar uh me personally hell no but that's just a preference okay so i'm gonna pull, pull these out so now i want to do i want to see where i stand you can do this at the end if you want but uh, i'm this kind of starts already put, painting the picture for me. So we got 1017 
plus five, three, seven, four, two, and then we got 300, right? So what is that total? Can I do this in Excel? Sure, I'm just doing it on here to make illustrations easy for you guys. Okay, so we know thus far this equals 190742. Now we haven't calculated out this, the mortgage terms. What, what will be mortgage payment? So this would equal principal and interest, PI, okay? Oh, and number seven we didn't put in here, let me put that in. insurance I'm gonna average 1200 for the year so a hundred bucks per month I'm gonna add it in here okay so plus 100 that gives me 2007 dollars and 42 cents per month okay so if we are so now I'm going to plug in to our 10 so this is the calculator I use it's the, to calculate mortgages 2 This is just a side note. Okay. Now let's take care of the mortgage. I know my lender is going to give me up to 80% or 75% on the purchase price. So if I do 242 times 0 0.75 equals 181,500. Okay. So that's my present value. I know my rate is 7.75, 360 months. My monthly payment would be, so, okay. Uh, mortgage payment. Uh, with the following known fact, with the following known factors. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it. So rate, 7.75. Term, 360 months, 75% uh, loan to value, so that's 181,500, okay? Uh, principal and interest would be 1,329 dollars, okay? So let, let's see if this makes sense into what we want to do, okay? So at this point, so let, let's also uh, show you what you would be bringing to the closing table. So 242 times 0.25. So D deposit, so DP equals 60,500. This is 25%. 25% of purchase price. Why? Because we know here, you see this? We know that the lender is giving us 75. So what's 75 plus 25? That's 100. You have to get your total to 100. Make sense? So let's erase that. Okay? So we're good there. So now if you add, now you have to add the cost that we already have, which is here. Right, so we have, let me see, put this in red. So we have this cost, which is representative, includes your, this is your cash flow, okay? This is your HOA. This is your taxes per month. Per month, this is, 
cash flow. This was not cash flow, what is it? Okay. This is cash flow per month. This is your insurance per month. So now we're going to take this number and add it to this number. So 2742 plus 1300.29. Zero, zero, so that's one, six, seven, seven. Oh no, I'm subtracting, sorry. I need to add it. My apologies. Let's do that again. So we got two plus one. So, the question now comes, so you take this number here, uh, right? And you have to ask yourself, does this fit us having a monthly rental payment of $2,500? Well, the answer is no, because the total cost calculating everything is $3,300, right? So does now it fit into this? If you charge $3,000 a month, will this deal work? The answer is no, right? Because you're at 3307 So that tells me that a purchase price of $242,000 doesn't work. It's too high. I need to come down. I need to buy it at a lesser cost to make the numbers financially viable. Okay? So now let's lower the cost, okay, to ensure that we can essentially fit it into this range. We want everything covered, right? For $3,000, that covers our principal payment, our interest payment, our taxes, our insurance, our cash flow, our HOA. It covers all of that. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want to be at. So I need a moment to think this through so that I can reverse engineer it from where I need to be. So hold on one moment. Okay, so for me to reverse engineer this, what the what I can change in here, right? So let's talk about the factors that we can actually change. Can we change the HOA fee? No, can't change that, right? So the so this is gonna remain. Can't change that. Now let me make it a different color so we're, uh, it doesn't get complicated. Let me go over here. What we got? We got a little purple. Let's use a little purple. Okay, come on. So we can't change the HOA. Can we change the taxes per year? Uh, yes, but you'd have to hire an attorney, you know, file docs. We're not doing all that, okay? So can't change that. I already told you my cash flow is non-negotiable. So not changing that, okay? Can you change the insurance? Sure, you can shop a little bit, um, but where I'm at is usually about a good price point. So this is gonna remain. So we know that this number here is not going to change. So then what number can change? Okay, that leaves us with our mortgage payment, which ultimately is affected by the price point that we buy this house at. Well, we are above what the potential rate is between 2,500 and 3,000. Now, if we collect 3,000 a month, or we base our numbers off of that, we are basing our numbers essentially off of best case scenario. And that is the worst mistake you can make. You never calculate your numbers off the best case scenario because things don't always go the way you planned. You know that, I know that, 
And I hope everybody else knows that. So we now project off the worst case scenario. So now 2,500 is the bottom of the collectible potential rent per month. So what I'm going to do is essentially say, okay, what is the difference for me to be able to get down so that my monthly uh, cost is essentially $2,500 or yeah, $2,500, right? What's the difference here? So I think I'm going to try this out. I think I could be doing this wrong, but hey, we'll learn together. How's that sound? So what I did was I took the, I took the 3307 and I subtracted it from the $1,300 mortgage payment. Right? Or I subtracted 3307.71 from 2500 So in order for me to get down to $2,500 a month, I need to lessen the principal and interest payment by $807. Okay, so if that's my monthly, nope, hold on. Okay, so again, I'll do 3307, right? 0 0.71 minus $2,500 equals 807.71. So we need to decrease the principal and interest payment by $807.71 to hit our mark of $2,500 collectible rent, which includes everything, okay? That includes the HOA, the taxes, the cash flow, the insurance, principal and interest mortgage payment. So let's reverse engineer this. So. I'm going to write all these numbers down, okay? So first we need to, so uh, difference, difference of where we are, to where we want to B. Make sense? So then we would do So the only thing we can reduce is the mortgage payment because all the other variables we've already determined right here, these, we've already determined that they're not changeable, okay? So that means we would take the 1,329 minus 807. 0.71, which equals, let me do the math, 300 or 1329 minus 807.71, which equals 492.58. Okay, this is what our principal and interest payment per month needs to be. Okay, so now let's just do some quick math to see if what we're talking about is making sense. All right. So we have this $2,007.42 non-negotiable a month, right? So let's bring that down. So we, we know, uh, known. $2,007 and what was it? Uh, $0.42. Okay. $0.42. Then, this is the new number that we need to be at. So if we add 
49258. Let's add that up and see where we at. So plus, boom. So this equals $2,500 per month. Okay. So let me see if I have this calculator on my, uh, I thought I did. I think I do. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can download this. Okay, so I do have the calculator on my iPad. So let me see if I can do a split screen. I can. Fantastic. Let's make. Okay, so we know. Can I zoom in? I guess I can't. Okay, so we. Let me go like this. Okay. We know our monthly payment can be $492.50. So we're going to do 492.58. Then you, oh, 492.58. Then you hit this minus sign. Then you hit PMT, which stands for payment. Okay. We know the interest rate. Wow, what is going on? Seven points. I don't know why this is not working. Let me get rid of this and see if it works better. Interest. We know our monthly. 360 so that's n now you just hit the pv so there you go that is what we can offer for the property sixty eight thousand dollars seven hundred fifty six sixty eight thousand seven hundred fifty six dollars and fifty cents to be in our um range of hitting all the numbers and making sure that we are on par that makes sense so you can actually check this, right? You look at the amortization. So you can look at it. So look. So you see what's going on, you, how much you're paying for principal and how much you're paying for interest. But the principal and interest will always add up to $492.58. What happens when you make a mortgage payment is that the first uh, 15 years, the the first 14 years and 11 months is interest heavy. Once you hit the halfway mark, then it starts changing and I'll show you, right? So look at the first principal amount that's being credited. It's $48.53. But if we go further down, so that's 180, right? So let's go to 180. Look, now as you get further down in the amount of time you've been paying, you're you're contributing more towards the balance which is the principal than you are to the interest and then in fact if you get to the end of this all the way look look at how much you're paying towards principal and how much you're paying towards interest this is how an amortization schedule works okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draft this email and send this information so that it can be presented to the client. 